All right. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, kubectl debug. Uh, who here has used kubectl debug? Okay, this is an awesome comment, right? So um, it's awesome, but there is something that is missing, in my opinion. So I, I wrote a, a kubectl plugin to improve it, and we'll talk about that. So I'm Mario, I work for Red Hat, and I'm currently part of the Podman team at Red Hat. Uh, but for seven years, I used to work on uh, cloud development environments, and this talk is related more to cloud development environment than to Podman. Uh, but let's first talk about kubectl debug. So kubectl debug um, is a command for troubleshooting workloads, nodes, uh, in a cluster, and it's how it works. It actually uh, allows you to specify a container with some debugging tools, common line debugging tools, for uh, debugging purposes, so interactive de debugging. So this common is, is awesome. It's awesome because troubleshooting workloads in Kubernetes can be painful. So we, we all try to uh, do get pods when there is something that is not working as expected, then describe, then uh, we try to output the JSON description, et cetera, et cetera. And we, we so those commands are, uh, are not as powerful as kubectl debug. So kubectl debug is a powerful command to actually do proper debugging. But there is something missing. So I don't know you, but uh, when I hear the term debugging, I usually think about source code, about breakpoints. But kubectl debug doesn't provide those, those things. So I, I, how, how can we get that with kubectl debug? Because when there is a pod running and there is a workload, there is an application running uh, in the pod. And if I want to debug it, I would like to debug it from my IDE, right? So we, we uh, start talking, thinking about that and say, well, what about if we had like an IDE option for kubectl debug, where we could specify uh, the IDE and then uh, some, somehow magically uh, the, Git, the Git repository would be cloned, the right branch, et cetera, so we could start debugging the workload running in the pod. So the idea for kubectl debug IDE. So sorry about the, the naming, actually, the, what happened is that uh, I talked with, with, with my PM that suggested to change the name of, of the project. So the project is now named IDE, but it was too late to change the, the, the slides. So sorry about that. So the, the, right, the right name is kubectl debug IDE, although the slides are, are, not, are not correct. But yeah, it's not, it's not my fault. It's, as always, <laughs> PM fault. <laughs> Just joking. Uh, so kubectl uh, debug CDE or IDE. Uh, the first thing is that we wanted to make make it really uh, similar, so not not identical in terms of flag to uh, kubectl debug. Uh, so same flags. So. So we have some extra flag, for example, for specifying the Git repository uh, or the IDE, etc. But yeah, this is the the, uh, the most important slide probably here. Um, so when you run it, so what you get is actually uh, after a few seconds, you get a new URL, uh, and that URL is the URL of uh, an IDE that will run in your browser. Actually, uh, the server side is running in the the back container. But uh, then the client side will run in your in your uh, in your browser, and you, you will be able to do the debugging, proper debugging. Okay, and how does it work? It's actually using um, and it for so this this extension, this plugin to work requires the dev workspace operator. So these are like the uh, in this slide, I'm, uh, there is a summary of the of the design choices. So um, the this plugin is part of the dev file project. It's a CNCF um, sandbox project. 
and it requires the dev workspace operator. The dev workspace operator is an operator that adds a new customer source, that is the dev workspace, that is else provisioning uh, cloud development environments in Kubernetes. It supports multiple IDE, and uh, there are still a lot of work to do. And uh, I'm running out of time, so uh, just providing you the URL with the old name, but uh, the, good, the good news is that uh, GitHub is redirecting to the new web, uh, Git repository. And here, the last thing, you have the QR code. Just scan it, you have access um, to, to, to provide the feedback for the talk, but also of the, the, the slides, the right slide, the, the, the updated ones. So thank you, everyone. And yeah, I will let the, the next speaker come.